Feminism is a political and social movement or ideology that strives for political, economic, and social equality of the sexes. A person who believes in this ideology is commonly known as a feminist. This label is not only confined to women, but also to men who believe that women should be on par with them in every way. Feminism is anti-sexism, but is not the same as misandry, which means hating men. Furthermore, feminism does not believe in establishing women as the superior race or oppressing men, as it is often misconstrued. It simply strives for true equality of the sexes. Feminism is essential due to the existence of patriarchy, a male-dominant ideology that is widespread in global society, and an evil that still persists around the world. Of course, the stated goal of the patriarchy is not the oppression of women, but is instead the result of a social system that is male-centered, male-identified, and male-controlled. The natural outcome of such a system is the oppression of women. Throughout the world and for much of history, women have been relegated to the domestic sphere, while men ruled the public sphere. This dichotomy led to the vastly unequal treatment of women. In medieval Europe, women were not allowed to study, own or inherit property, or vote. In France, only 150 years ago, women were supposed to cover their heads, and German husbands were allowed to sell their wives. This unequal treatment, especially regarding the right to vote, led to the birth of feminism. The first wave of feminism began in the late 19th century and continued until the early 20th century. The first wave of feminism is closely linked to the suffrage movement, as their primary focus was winning women's right to vote and securing equal political rights. The second wave of feminism began in the 1960s and lasted until the 1970s, though some argue it stretched all the way until the 1990s. The second wave focused on the civil rights movement, sexuality and the reproductive rights of women. Women fought for equal pay, equal opportunities at work, and legal equality. They also fought against restrictions on contraceptives, rape, and domestic violence. The second wave was connected to other political movements and social movements, such as the LGBT movement, the anti-Vietnam War movement, the Black Power movement, and the Civil Rights Movement. The second wave was not exactly a success, as the other movements took shape by its side. In some ways, feminism got swept under the rug. The third wave of feminism commenced in the 1990s and took a more holistic approach of broadening the meaning of feminism and including women of color. It addressed the patriarchy with an ironic attitude by adopting, changing, or reclaiming the meaning of derogatory words, such as bitch. The third wave was inspired by the postmodernist movement and focused on gender identity, the diversity of women, and intersectionality. They fought against the portrayal of women in media in terms of beauty, womanhood, and sexuality. There is also an ongoing debate concerning the rise of a fourth wave. This most recent wave is believed to have been started in 2012 and specifically deals with issues of sexual harassment, rape culture, and body shaming. The fight for gender equality may still need stronger and more sustained waves, but those who consider themselves feminists are far from giving up.